this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having us back on this journey to unconditional love. Love the journey, love of each other and definitely back to our soul group. They're all part of the same soul group. They're helping each other into our unions. And so I've been guided to do divine love healing. I can connect to your energies and get the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path that basically identifies the blocks and um, really gets driven by where your soul wants to go because it's for your highest good. And um, I give you a three card angel reading and also a mantra. And when you repeat that mantra, it aligns your energies and brings you into your heart space really and helps you to live in the love vibration. And it's all about living as much as you can in the love vibration to fight all of the other um, fears, anxieties, worries, everything else, because none of that is truth. Or the only thing in, in the only thing that's truth is love. The other thing I do is a crystal grid. So I have used pieces of rose quartz, which I just get from my bra. Here you go. Uh, I keep it in my bra, but you get pieces of rose quartz. And when you meditate with that and send love out to your twin and everyone around the world and all twins to come into their union, the power of doing it collectively is huge. And so um, just a little tip, the latest guidance that I've got is I keep this in my bra all the time. But recently I've been guided to just, you know, basically caress all over my body with it because it's about, you know, loving every part of your body and also whatever you're doing with your physical body, you know, it does affect you on an energetic level. And of course, that does affect your twin as well. So this stone is about unconditional love. So that's why if you just sort of like rub your whole body with it, just, you know, like maybe when you get out of the bath or something, just, you know, go over your entire body with it. And um, it basically places unconditional love everywhere. And again, the power of doing it collectively, because we've got these going all over the world um, and everyone having the intent to send unconditional love, then the power of it is just so much stronger. That will help all twin flames, basically. The, the whole purpose of me being guided to do it is to help all twin flames come into their union. And so the message today is just coming from a few different, you know, basically all of these messages run from one to the next to the next. And it's all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey. And so the first thing is I've been saying about um, this program called Once Upon a Time. And um, every single episode, it's honestly, it's just the most bizarre thing because every single episode is linked to either healings or messages that we've got or signs and everything. So um, today's message is a mix of about, you know, what we're moving into, abundance, having the life of our dreams, all of that, but also a message around, you know, the, your divine counterpart. Um, and so this particular episode is, um, uh, that, that I saw last night, this is about basically that they're trying to get somebody, get, the, get a lost boy back from Neverland. And this ship that, that they're using, this is Captain Hook's ship, and they are using this ship, but they have got a magic sail on the front. And this sail is the sail of Pegasus. Pegasus is on the front. Now, what made me think about this is because actually, and this is why the message is linked to abundance and to keep on going and to keep setting your, you know, working with your abundance, because... Um, Pegasus is the nickname of my friend's, uh, a really good friend of mine, her, her partner. Now, he's a music producer and it just occurred to me that actually he has the mixing desk for the Dark Side of the Moon album. Now, the Dark Side of the Moon album is basically, uh, you know, the Pink Floyd album that was, that was part of, you know, uh, which has been also part of this journey. Now, all of these messages all linked together, linked together, linked together, right? Because when I was watching this, I was like, oh my God, they've just set sail. And on it, they made a particular point about say, saying about Pegasus, which made me think, Pegasus, ah, which made me link back to the dark side of the moon again. Now, apart from that, so it's all about, you know, really, really knowing that, you know, all of these people that are around helping basically another message right helping to say yes keep going right because um you can do anything right you set your sail in the direction of where you want your life to be 
And then you carry on going until you actually achieve it. Because what happens with this boat, it lifts up out of the water. <laughs> it actually flies, right? And that's what Royal Trade wants you to do for your life, is to actually fly, right? And to feel like that. Which is why it's so great, right? So um, that's one part of the message. They want you to fly. They want you to live in your heart space and really see the, think, you know, what anything is possible. What you think is impossible is actually possible. Right, the next part of the message was two people sent me the song Coldplay, Hypnotized. Now, when I go to search for it, guess what comes up? <laughs> it's the return of a duck. <laughs> the ducks come up again. So in this, um, so I was just like, oh my God, this is just too funny, right? So again, it's about, you know, all the signs to keep going with your dreams. Don't, um, don't get, don't get disheartened, basically. Now I'm going to read out the lyrics to, to, to the hypnotized song, because this is obviously a sign of divine masculine. So this is what they want us to know. So it says, I've been wrestling in the rubble, running to a faint. Need a brand new coat of paint. I found myself in trouble thinking about what ain't and never going to be a saint. Saying float like an eagle, fall like the rain. Pouring to put out the pain, oh again and again. Now I'm hypnotised, yeah I trip. When I look in your eyes, oh I'm hypnotised. Yeah I slip and I'm mesmerised. It's easy to be lethal, I'm learning from the news. It's a guidebook for the blues, saying it's the very same steeple people want to choose. They just see it from different views. And threading the needle, fixing my flame. Oh, now I'm moved to exclaim, oh, again and again. Now I'm hypnotised, yeah, I took a trip. When I look in your eyes, I'm hypnotised. Oh, again and again, now I'm hypnotised. Yeah, I left to a permanent high. Oh, I'm hypnotised. It was dark, but now it's sunrise. So, you know what I immediately noticed again about this, and this is why it's so amazing how every single message fits into the next one, specifically was the line about and threading the needle. Because in yesterday's video, there was very specifically a map in the shop, which was a cross-stitch map that said adventure awaits and it was a cross stitch global map which you stitched using cross stitch with gold thread and I was saying yesterday about you know we're piecing together you know the golden thread is actually we are all linked by the golden thread by the heart energy right by the love and light and so now that was yesterday now this song has come through and it says about threading the needle so again I know immediately that that's from our divine counterparts giving us the response in a song, right? To say, yes, this is what we want you to know. The other thing is, is that as I was getting ready to do this, the song Daft Punk came on, Get Lucky. And the other message that I've been getting is about the phoenix. I keep seeing the phoenix everywhere. Um, and it's about rising up out of the ashes. And, you know, really, you know, for you, um, letting go of all energies that aren't supporting you, really moving into more and more and more of the love vibration, moving into this joyous life where you actually see that anything is possible, right? Um, so now when I was getting ready to do this message, I just came downstairs and this song came on, Get Lucky. Now, I'm just going to read out the lyrics to this because this is again another message. So it says, Like the legend of the phoenix, all ends with beginnings. What keeps the planet spinning, the force of love beginning. We've come too far to give up who we are, so let's raise the bar on our cups to the stars. She's up all night till the sun, and I'm up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun, and I'm all up all night to get lucky. The present has no ribbon. Your gift keeps on giving. What is this feeling? If you leave, I'm with it. We've come too far to give up who we are, so let's raise the bar on our cups to the stars. So, you know, that's why, you know, that this is why these messages are so brilliant, because... You know, last night I was saying on the train on the way home, there's a massive sign saying, don't give up. 
Um, and when I come down this morning, this is the song that comes up. I've been seeing loads of Phoenix images, Phoenix on vans, Phoenix on buildings, um, Phoenix and Union everywhere at the moment I keep seeing. Um, somebody has sent me a message to say in her meditation, um, she has been seeing that there's lots of letters. So H, D, B, uh, F. Uh, lots of different letters and if you're noticing repeating letters then in her meditation she said that you know that's potentially that people with those names are you know have their union coming you know up I'm always very hesitant to say that because I think you know the time we have to really not think about the time and just live in that love vibration and trust that when you do that then whatever time happens for you is the right time for you so look at this. This is why these messages are so amazing though, because yesterday at the um, at the DC Comics Heroes, there was a rubber duck in the bathtub with the green man. And the green man, I forget his name, was all about manifestation, all about being able to create anything that he puts his mind to. Then this song, the Coldplay hypnotized, I go to look, search for it and there is the advert with the ducks and the pot and in the bath. So if there's ever a message, you know, to say, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, just live in your heart, just keep, keep, keep on going, keep doing your mantras, keep raising up your love vibration, keep loving yourself, use your rose quartz crystal to really give yourself love by rubbing unconditional love all over your body. Treat yourself like a god and goddess, you know, what did they do? They would have had like somebody, you know, probably, I don't know what they would have done, but... We're just going to use your rose quartz crystal to gently caress your body all over. Love yourself. Spend the time. Spend an hour or whatever it is doing it. Because it's all about giving you unconditional love. And then when you do that and when you're at the right vibration, your twin will come in. Because it's your destiny. All right, well, I hope that helps and have some fun with your rose quartz crystal. And if you want to come to me for healings, then please do. All details are in the link. And also, uh, I have been behind. I haven't felt right these last few days to do them, but I am doing them today. I feel very different today. And so you will receive your healing today. Also, um, anyone that wants to have healing, please do. And if you want to join the crystal grid, then please do. Because honestly, these little stones are magic absolute magic all right thanks a lot have a good day take care bye